welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Josette. So today we're going to be talking about the pros and cons of short starter locks, of starting your locks on a very short length of hair. So let's get into the video. Three cons and four pros. A little bit of backstory on my hair. This is my second lock set. In my first set, I had traditional locks that were small, small traditional locks. And this set is micro locks, started with the interlocking method. I am four months locked now. And by the way, my mom started my locks. She is now accepting clients. She's located in the Savannah, Georgia area. Um, check out her Facebook page, Locked by Lillette, to book. And also um, follow Locked by Lillette on Instagram to see uh, her work. But yeah, so I started on two to three inches of hair. I actually have not measured my hair yet, but maybe I'll measure my hair at the six month mark six month lock update i think i'll do that so the reason why i started on such a short length was because i did a big chop and i was honestly just ready to start my journey and i didn't see the point in waiting to have longer hair when my mom was capable of installing it on shorter hair i thought i might as well just start my journey now and really yeah just just start so let's get into the cons fortunately there are cons of having short starter locks so let's get into it okay con number one slippage is more obvious and more annoying <laughs> the reason why it's more obvious is because there is less hair there's less length your locks are shorter there is a higher risk of the entirety of your lock slipping out it's happened to me i have videos on it on my channel um, if you go and watch my lock retightening how to retighten locks video you'll see how much slippage i get in the front section and the back section of my hair sometimes it's the entire lock that slips out and it is very annoying but it's just something that you have to deal with it's just it's it's part of the experience con number two reties take a lot more patience and a lot more time this goes into the first con because there's so much slippage Sometimes you just completely lose the part, so you have to redo the entire thing. So you have to part it out again and either interlock again or braid again. I've put in a lot of braids because they hold a bit longer in the softer texture of my hair compared to the interlocking method. Whoops. I'm just kicking you guys. That is what I do, but yeah, it just requires a lot more patience, a lot more time. On number three, it can be an adjustment to grow confident with shorter locks just because it's so short and it can look awkward at times. It can look wild. Your hair does not do what you want it to do. So especially once your new growth has grown out of it, it just looks messy. It looks like <laughs> a hybrid of an afro and locks and nothing is laying the way you want it to. Things are sticking up here, sticking up there. So it's another con, but you know, you just have to, you just have to deal with it. There's nothing you can really do. If you want locks that badly, I'm definitely not discouraging you from getting short locks because I did it and I've documented my journey from the very beginning. So you'll see what I've gone through. You'll, you can look and see my monthly micro locks updates just to give you some more insight on what it's like to have short locks, short starter locks. So yeah, but let's get into the pros now. There are uh, a bunch of pros that I think outweigh the cons, but you be the judge of that. I totally understand if you wanna wait to have like six inches of hair to start, but it's really about what you're willing to take on. For me, now this might just be a me thing, but I feel like uh, some of you will relate to this. I feel like when you start locks on really short hair, like the shortest you could probably start your locks on is two inches. That's like one inch to me is, is why? Like just wait a few more months to get to two inches, two and a half inches. But I don't even know if uh, locticians will accept one inch. Maybe some will, 
but I, I don't recommend starting at one inch. Like two to three inches, three inches preferably I think is ideal to start. But I did start mine, my mom started mine on two to three inches. So I feel like starting on hair that's that short, you truly start from the beginning. Now that's not to, you know, um, take away from people who start locks on, you know, nine inches of hair because, <coughs> excuse me, you still have to go through each stage of the locking process no matter what length you start your locks on. Do you know what I mean? It's more of a growth thing for me. So it's like you cut all of your hair off and then you start to grow it from scratch. Two to three inches is pretty much the lowest you can go. That's like the shortest you can start your locks on. Probably one inch, but you know, you get what I'm saying. So I feel like starting with hair that short you're just, you're really, really starting from the beginning. And when you look back five years into your journey, you're gonna really be able to say, I started my locks from the beginning. And seeing that growth throughout the years, I think will just be so amazing for me to experience because I basically started from the beginning, started from the bottom, now we're here. So yeah. That's just a me thing, possibly, but if you can relate to that, you know, that thought process, please comment down below. I just feel like starting with short locks, you're just, you're really starting from scratch, and girl, when you have tailbone length hair, no one can even talk to you, because you've nurtured this hair from 2 inches to 22 inches. It looks really cute. Short hair just looks really cute. Short hair gives off a cute vibe. It doesn't matter what type of background you are, what race you are, what your hair texture is, pixie cuts, you know, short haircuts. It just gives off a cute, fresh vibe. And short locks are really, really, really cute. Whenever I see short locks of other people, I'm like, her hair just looks so cute. Yeah, like who doesn't want to look cute sometimes? Like you, you literally can just wake up, spray your hair with water and be like I look cute <laughs> yeah so that's that's definitely a, pr a pro like that's you know having such a carefree hairstyle and especially not having a lot of it it's definitely a relief and um, I think it's important to to embrace that because before you know it your hair is gonna be considered long like you're gonna go from having short hair to having a bob you know, so like before you know it, it'll be like here and then it'll be down here. And it's like, that's not as short anymore. It's not the same, it's not the same vibe. So yeah, you just, it, it looks really cute. You enhance your features, you're showing off your face. Your hair isn't taking over. It's just like cute hair and face. The next pro is because there is less hair, your hair will lock faster. I've definitely, I feel like that is something that um, it's not really talked about because most people start their hair, their locks on longer hair, but think about it in the sense that the more hair you have to lock, the longer that process will take and vice versa. So I'm already feeling my locks like getting more dense and more solid. I remember before it just felt like hair and it was very thin and flat, but now four months in only, it's like I'm starting to feel them thicken up and they're getting dense and they're getting that, that cylinder shape is starting to form, you know, that lock formation is starting to happen. And I feel like if I had longer hair, that process would take longer just because it kind of works from the bottom up. So the ends of your hair are the parts that were <clears throat> locked first. So the less hair that you have, the less time it will take for all of your lock to lock. I really hope that makes sense. <laughs> but yeah, so I definitely think that that's a pro is just having your, your hair lock faster. So, yeah. Okay, this is my last pro, and it's definitely a good one. So confidence with shorter locks is another type of confidence. Like, if you can be confident with short, 
starter locks girl once your hair gets long once you start to see a little bit of length once your locks are even brushing your shoulders let alone getting down to bra strap it is over because you were already confident with your short starter locks that's why i think it's it just goes like so much more goes into your lock journey when you start um with short locks because it's like i have to go through the awkward stage plus i have short hair you know plus my hair is frizzy plus there's slippage all of these things but if you're confident with hair at this length nobody can tell you anything once your hair is long nobody and now this goes for people who their goal is to have long hair I know Kendra Kenshe on YouTube, she wants her hair to be like bob length. That's still, you know, that's obviously longer than mine. So she still wants length, just not long hair. But you get what I mean? Like, whatever length goal your hair is, it's most likely longer than what your current length is if you're in the starter lock phase. So, yeah, nobody will be able to talk to you any type of way when your hair is longer. And... I think that is pretty amazing, to be honest, because it's like gaining confidence with short hair will just make you that much more confident as you start to reach your hair goals. Because it's like, I've been through this. I started my hair when it was short, when it was frizzy, when it looked crazy, and now my hair is mature, it's longer, it's flourishing. And you, 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 you cannot talk to me any type of way. <laughs> So that is my last pro for this video. If you could relate to any of these, if you have short starter locks, definitely comment down below. So also, I know that I have surpa surpassed 20K here on YouTube. I've surpassed 20,000 royals and a giveaway is coming. I just don't know the exact timeline, but it is still coming. The items that I want to order for this giveaway always become sold out and with things being closed i can't just go out and buy everything very easily so yeah that is coming if you like this video don't forget to the thumbs up subscribe and comment below and i will see all of you in my next video bye